Put your whole LB all on my shoes. I need to get this on my sauce. Got a bed looking like brand new. Lit up like a crystal ball. That's cool, baby. So is you. That's how I roll. If I'm shining, everybody gonna shine. I was born like this. I don't even gotta try. I like shot it. Okay. Hopefully this picks up the audio. This is the third time I've tried this. It's worth it because of the message that I have about this. I wanted to send out a feel-good, positive message for everybody um, and kind of just do a quick little fun story from this morning and to share a positive experience with everybody from today. Um, so the song you heard was Juice. The song you heard was Juice by Lizzo, and he's in the shop messing around with some stuff. Um, but the song you heard was Juice from Lizzo. And I got to tell you a little bit of a backstory on how I got to that song this morning. Um, so I'm obviously middle school teachers know I'm the person that sort of ran the ran the first day web stuff just because I'm sort of silly and crazy and have a lot of high energy. And so from the beginning of the school year, our one of the soundtracks that we would listen to on the way to work is the remix that comes with the web leader training um, for the assemblies. And um, when the girls got in the truck today, they Annie kept singing, shut up and dance with me. This woman is my destiny. She said, ooh, ooh, ooh. And so her and Charlie kept singing that. And so by the time I got to Marengo, um, I was just about finishing up my breakfast and decided to throw that on. And directly after that song on that remix was um, the song Juice by Lizzo. And then I got thinking, I wonder if the girls had ever heard that song completely. And so I switched it over to YouTube and we listened to um, the entire song and it got me into a pretty positive mood. And specifically because of the, the lines that started when I started this video, if I'm shining, everybody gonna shine. I was born like this, don't even gotta try. And I, I had that song on repeat probably, I think I listened to it about four or five times before I, I got into the building and into my room, um, which is something that I've needed. Today is day 38 of 45 days of third quarter. Um, at least that's what I think it is because we have one more week left of school um, and one more day this week. So um, it's it's been a sort of a grind. The There's a group of three students in my first hour class and sp particularly led by one student who absolutely has refused 100% to go into the shop and even has gotten to the point where at some points she's fled the area and um, has been showing a little bit of disrespectful behavior, which to me was, was very surprising when it started and surprising that it's lasted this long because I was her trusted adult and her confidant and she would come down during my preps and I helped her from the time she was in sixth grade, made a connection, seventh grade and even eighth grade before she had me this year um, would come down and would talk to me quite a bit. Um, but I'm too stubborn and too Norwegian to quit. So I kept on it and tried different approaches every single day. And today on day 38, I finally got her to step into the shop and she came in and out maybe two or three times. Um, but honestly, don't care. I'm just glad that she was finally able to get in there. Um, I've talked to other tech ed teachers about the area that we teach in our, our geographic region and the students that we teach. And you, you sometimes you never know when a student's going to turn their light bulb on. Could be eight of third quarter. So it's almost three quarters of the way through the year. Maybe they finally just start, start to participate. And I took it. And it was awesome. Um, it was awesome to have her in there and didn't really push the issue much. Just so I celebrated a little bit. And then um, the first thing that I did when I went into my prep second hour is I emailed her and said, hey, awesome to see you in the shop. Um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and just left it at that. There was a student that kind of helped co coach her to come in. Um, she was part of the three that has sort of been reluctant to go in. I emailed her and said also thanked her for helping out and kind of getting things going. Um, but the whole point is this, I got thinking how cool would it be 
if that was part of a first year teacher program where they were required to listen to some type of feel good music like that to really believe in themselves. If I'm shining, everybody gonna shine. I was born like this, don't even gotta try. Try it, I dare ya. Listen to Lizzo five times in a row before you start teaching tomorrow and see if it puts you in a different mood than you've, you've been. This has been a tough winter um, and uh, we're almost there. I, I think that all of you guys are rock stars. It's awesome to be teaching with you. It's a privilege to be teaching with you and I appreciate all of it. I hope this story cheered you up and I hope it starts your Friday off right. And I hope this recording works so I don't have to do it a fourth time.